In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on surface areas and volumes. Now, we've got a problem here based on a well. A well with 10 meter inside diameter is dug 14 meter deep. And the earth taken out of it is spread all around to a width of 5 meters. You know, not give some attention to this. Earth taken out of it is spread all around to a width of 5 meters to form an embankment. Now find the height of the embankment, alright. So now we've got the width, alright, and then we've got the depth also, you know, which is the height as well. So now we just have to find the height of the embankment. Now it's pretty simple. Now let's, you know, see the visual part of this problem. So let's see how that looks like now. Alright, so see here we have. So let's say this is the outer part of the well, and let's say this is the inner part of the well. They dig the earth out of this part and then they spread it evenly around the well you know this is five meters width that embankment that they're talking about we need to find the height of this embankment if the width is five meters and the depth here is what 14 meters deep 14 meters deep this and the diameter of the inside part is 10 meters let me write it here 10 meters diameter all right so this is the data that we have now let's see what we have to do about this hope you understood this is the soil part you know this green thing the entire green thing is the earth spread out evenly all right so yeah that's that so now let us first find out how much have they dug out you know that's what we need first so okay before i go to the problem all right, let me give you a brief outline of it. First, find the volume of the earth dugout. If you have to fill that much volume here, then the volume of this should be same, right, as that you dug out. So that's all, you know, that's the answer there. So you need to equate these two volumes, you know, to find out the answer. That's all that there is to do. And then eventually the height is going to be the unknown, and then we can find the height. Just see how I'm going to do it. All right, first we've got the volume of the earth dugout. So... Volume of the earth dugout is going to be pi r square h meter cube. Now you can ask me on what basis did I use this formula because it is cylinder in shape, right? It is a cylindrical digging. It's cylindrical in shape. That's why we're using pi r square h, right? So that's going to be what? Pi is 22 by 7. The radius is going to be 5 because the diameter is 10 meters. So it's going to be 5. So 5 times 5. And the height is 14 meters or the depth is 14 meters. 7 goes 2 times and then multiplying this, you get 1100 or 1100 meter cube. Now, we need to find the area of the embankment shaded region. Now, this is nothing but see it from the concentric circle's point of view. You know, the, the area of the concentric circle is just go back and refer. The formula for that is, I'll just tell you now, the area of the embankment that is the green shade this is the embankment that we're talking about so this is going to be pi times r squared minus small r square capital r square minus the small r square so the small diameter is 10 this is 5 meter width right so that's going to be 15 meters obviously the diameter the radius of the bigger thing is going to be 5 plus 5 it's going to be 10 right i'll just show it to you now say i'm drawing it here then we've got this if this is 10 meters and if this width is 5 meters, then from the center point, the radius is going to be half of 10 plus 5, which is going to be 10. So the capital R is going to be 10. So let us write pi times 10 square minus 5 square, the meet, whole meter square equals 22 by 7. Pi is 22 by 7 multiplied by 100 minus 25 is 75. 75 meters square. So this is what it is, right? Now, if you notice carefully here, we've taken the area of the embankment here. Now, say now, you know, let us take the volume of the embankment. What is the volume of the embankment? The volume of the embankment is nothing but area times the height, how much deep it's going. 
if you multiply that you're going to get the volume so we've got this one so we just have to find h right so the volume of the soil or the earth used to fill this embankment is definitely equal to the volume of the earth that is dug out so equate those two so the volume of the earth dug out is going to be equal to the volume of the earth in embankment right so the volume of the earth dug out is 1100 meter cube equal to volume of the earth in embankment is so much in which we know the value of this which is uh, 22 by 7 times 75 times h so you just find h now h equals 1100 times 7 over 22 times 75 solving which we get 4.66 meters so the height of the embankment is going to be 4.66 meters if you use the earth that was dug out to fill the embankment right so that's all so eventually it comes down to equating the volumes if you notice carefully or if you if you've noticed carefully till now all the problems that we've solved based on surface areas and volumes eventually comes down to you know the volumes being equal to do something and then you just had to find the unknown so that's what we are doing even here so yeah that's this problem So let's quickly solve another similar problem, a well-based problem. All right, here we've got another question which reads like this. A 20 meter deep well with diameter 7 meter is dug and the earth from the digging is evenly spread out to form a platform 22 meter by 14 meter. So find the height of the platform. So the platform, obviously, you know, you can make out that's, that it is in the shape of cuboid whose volume is length, breadth and height. So, you know, you just have to find out the volume of the well that was dug that volume is definitely going to be equal to the volume of the platform because they're not going to use extra bit of earth to make the platform nor are they going to you know take out some earth to make out the platform the same soil the same quantity of the earth that is dug out is going to use to make this platform so we've got the length we've got the breadth we just need the height so equate the volumes here again that's all very similar problem to the previous thing but then the last problem they use the earth dug out to make an embankment but in this case they're using it to make a platform so now Let's first uh, find out the volume of the earth. Volume of earth dug out equals pi r square h meter cube, right? So that is pi is 22 by 7 times. R is, uh, the diameter is 7 meters. So that is going to be 3.5 because it's half of the diameter. So 3.5 times 3.5 times the height, which is 20. Solving this, you get 770 meter cube. So the volume of the earth dug out is 770 meter cube. So the volume of the platform here also should not be more than or less than 770 meter cube, right? So now to find the height of the platform, we just have to equate the volume of earth dug out is equal to the volume of earth to make the platform or the volume of the platform itself so here we've got 770 meter cube equal to volume of earth to make the platform the platform is nothing but length breadth height so 770 equals 22 times 14 times h so h equals 770 times divided by 22 times 14 now 7 goes 2 times here and it goes 110 times here and 11 goes 2 times here and it goes 10 times here and 2 goes 5 times here and 2 goes 2.5 times here so the height is 2.5 meters so the height of the platform here is found to be 2.5 meter one of the most simplest of problems i guess well i just did it here because you know it was two well problems you know that's why for it to be similar for you so yeah, that's that. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on surface areas and volumes.